Welcome. Okay, first thing, congratulations to everyone at In Exile for an extremely successful Kickstarter campaign for Torment. Great job and good luck. Second, and importantly, I don't want to oversell this, but you might want to pressurize the room that you're in because your head could explode from what you're about to see. We're going to show you our game for the first time. Not gameplay, but the environment and some characters in it. And we're very excited and uh, pretty proud of, of what we've been able to produce. When we approached these environments, we wanted to hit three things that were very important to us. First is quality of the art, which sort of speaks for itself, but the art that we put into games like Icewind Dale and Icewind Dale 2 especially uh, reflected a certain aesthetic that we wanted to make sure that we hit. Second, unique. We wanted these levels to look very unique and cool and memorable. And then third, dynamism. And dynamism is something that actually was usually lacking in the Infinity Engine games because they were 2D and very sort of sprite and tile based. We believe we hit all of those goals. Um, when I'm talking about dynamism, specifically in this demo, the things I'm talking about are movement within the scene, so things like trees moving and grass moving, which is subtle but makes the, the area feel a little more alive. Also things like dynamic water, which also includes the ability to raise and lower water, which we'll be showing you in the demo. And third, dynamic lighting. This dynamic lighting includes a day-night cycle, but it also means actual dynamic lighting of the scene in real time, which is pretty cool. So here you go, take a look. All right, so as a reminder, that's all 2D stuff. That's all renders that we rendered from a 3D image and then touched up in 2D. There's no 3D geometry actually in that scene. And it's running on a totally normal run-of-the-mill PC. Do you think I'm lying? You're wrong. Take a look at this. That is actually the level in Unity that we are running in the game. Like I said, we're very happy with how things have turned out. There's still some more experimentation we're going to do with some of these dynamic elements, but we're really happy with the direction it's going. We hope you guys are too. Special thanks to everyone on the team who helped make this possible. It was a very large group effort. It turned out really great. Especially want to give thanks to Hector Espinosa, our lead environment artist, who uh, modeled that whole area. And also to Michael Edwards, our rendering programmer, who did some amazing, amazing stuff. So that's it for this week. Hope you like it. Let us know what you think on our forums, and we'll see you next week.